When did it become a crime to succeed in this country? The animal metaphor is that. Let's go out there, bring some meat back to camp. He's a competitive alpha male billionaire. He's first generation real money. He's me, the axe. Axelrod. Being a billionaire, when you walk into a room, you know exactly what everyone's looking at, you know exactly what they want. Bobby's a prominent, quite well-loved hedge fund manager over at Axe Capital. The moment I let someone in a boardroom tell me what I can or cannot buy, I may as well close the shop. And I'm not closing the shop. He's got a finger in almost every pie. He'll invest in anything. But at the same time, there is a US attorney who I think gets a whiff that I might not be trading above board. I'm telling you to keep it a little more low key. Who's more low key than me? He likes his place at top table. He owns an enormous house, but he's less establishment, less conservative than the investment bankers, the pinstripe suits. It's a crush the other guy business. It's like Highlander. There can be only one. Axe is more blue-collar roots, not Ivy League, and damn proud of the money he's made. He's not always afraid to show that. What's the point of having fuck you money if you never say fuck you? But at the same time, he has great generosity, great loyalty, and it's very much why he and his wife are such a partnership. I like it. I love it. I hope we'll like Axe. I think he's someone that we'll recognize. You think I got all of this by only taking what's necessary? Whether he turns out to be a good guy or not, I, I don't know any more than you do. They may be cheering now, but believe me, they are dying to boo.